Live from the beautiful Ox Ridge Club in Darien, Connecticut, it's Varsity Boys Squash on the DAF Media Network this evening. It's a big time rivalry here in southwestern Connecticut between the Darien Blue Wave and the new Canaan Rams. Hi everybody, I'm Damian Andrews. So glad you could be with us for this DAF Media broadcast. Our DAF Media production crew, Trey Cahill is our director. Braden Shank is our uh, graphics coordinator. And on the call for the first time for DAF Media is Michael DeMeglio. And joining him, current Darianne Blue Wave squash player, Will Morgan. Gentlemen, great to have you aboard for this one. And uh, it doesn't get any bigger when Darianne and New Canaan meet in any sport at any time. And that stands true this evening. As the teams are uh, warming up here, we're taking a look at uh, New Canaan's Austin Platt on court one here. We're going to debut. We're going to debut our uh, quad box here, and so we'll be able to pick up action on all three courts this evening as Darian and New Canaan prepare for the start of this match. We will take a, a quick break and we will be back with live squash here on the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation. We are back here live at the Ox Ridge Club. Want to thank uh, Ben Berrigan and his entire staff here at Ox Ridge for uh, their hospitality every time we broadcast from the squash courts. A beautiful facility if you've never been here. And also joining us uh, tonight to provide some commentary will be Wick Clothier the head coach of the Darien Blue Wave squash team. And he runs the program, also a pro here at Ox Ridge. Again, the uh, teams are warming up. And we've got uh, courts one, two, and three.
on court one in the top right hand corner of your screen actually we'll take an iso shot right here of court one it'll be jonathan strong of darian and austin platt of new canaan strong against platt on court two it'll be louis gorman of darian taking on will casey if we can see court two and on court three there's court two louis gorman and will casey and on court three it'll be michael dolcetti and dave hansen as you're looking at uh, court three Again, this is Dolcetti and Hansen. As we are awaiting the start of this one. Darianne, of course, in the blue. New Canaan in the red. We are watching the action on court one between Austin Platt of New Canaan and Jonathan Strong of Darien. And I'm going to toss it over now to our uh, broadcaster standing by, Michael DiMeglio and Will Morgan. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Will. So um, John, I believe, is playing either uh, line three or four for Darien at the moment. And... Um, we, we played New Canaan on Sunday, and John played the same player, Platt. He was able to come out with a win, so hopefully he can do the same today. Ball hit the tin there, which means it's the opponent's ball. Platt takes the serve here. Score is now 6-2. Game's going pretty fast. Yeah, this is quicker than John normally plays. He tries to uh, play longer rallies and wear out his opponents. Hopefully he'll be able to find a rhythm here soon. Jonathan arguing the call right now with the refs. Seems like it's going to be going to New Cana on that one. Good 
Good cross court from John there. Good play by Jonathan. New Cannon player leads at the moment. Now I believe we have moved over to court two. Which is Louis Gorman and Will Casey playing. Louis is a junior at Darien High School. Points to New Cannon. There's another good drop shot from Louie there. Good shot by Louie, he's gonna take the serve from the left box. Looks like there was a let call there, and that means the point is going to be replayed. Looks like that will be game to Louis Gorman. Looking back at the quad screen, we have court one and three still playing. Oh, I guess court three is still playing. And now we are back on court one with John Strong. Good rally here between John Strong and Platt from New Canaan. Darian's going to take the serve from, from the right service box. I believe the score is currently 10 all which means they will be playing winner wins by two. Points to Platt from New Canaan. If he scores the next one, he'll take the set. Jonathan hits 10, which means New Canaan gets the ball. And the game goes to Platt. Going back to court two, we have Gorman and Casey playing their second game. Point to Gorman, he'll be serving from the left side. Louis doing a great job of keeping his opponent in the back of the court, making sure that he has command over the rallies and the flow of the game. Great job, Louis. Right. 
Another good, good kill job. from Louis. Back in court three with Dolcetti and Hansen. Dolcetti is another one of the captains here uh, on the team. He does a great job uh, making sure everybody's working hard during practice. Um, helps run uh, warm up stretches and cool downs. So he's definitely been a great help this season uh, for the team. Going back to the view of all three games. Going back to court two, which is Gorman and Casey. Looks like Casey will be serving here from the right side. Gorman's a strong player, always going back to the tee once he hits the ball. It's a good spot to be, so you could access all four corners pretty easily throughout the game. Court one, we got Jonathan Strong and Austin Platt. Darian has a serve right here from the right box. And the serve is out. John with another good cross court, making sure to keep his, uh, his opponent in the back of the court. Darian Strong is going to serve from the right side. Another point to Strong. He'll be serving from the left side now. Score is 5 4. Strong has the lead. Point to strong. Seems as though John is taking more control of this set, which is definitely what we want to see. Going to be a stroke to John, and that means he could not safely hit the ball, so the point will go to him. Point to Strong again. 
Score is 8-5. Strong's going to take it from the left. Good drop shot from Platt. Manages to take a point from him. Score is now 9-6, strong leads from the right side. John with another quick point. He will now be serving for the set from the left. Game to John. The score is now one plat, one to strong. Back to Lulu Gorman on court two. Good kill shot from Louis there. Gonna take the serve from the right side. Gorman winning the point, going to take the serve from the right service box. Good job from Louis to stay up at the front of the court, commanding those shots. Louis doing a really good job staying in the game. Gonna yeah. take the serve from the left. One thing about Louis is he's uh, he always seems to make it to where the ball uh, ball ends up before it bounces twice. Going back to Jonathan Strong on court one, playing Austin Platt on their third game, one all. Looks like Platt took the first point. Jonathan's going to take the second point, serving from the right. Again, doing a good job to keep his phone in the back of the court for the time being. Good kill there from Austin.
Again, point two Platt. who will be serving from the left side. On court three, you have Thomas Osberg and James Casey warming up for their game. Dolcetti won against Dave Hansen, which makes Darian in the lead 1-0. It also looks like the game between uh, Gorman and Casey has ended with Louis Gorman taking the win. Score now 2-0, Darian leading. Back to the game against Strong and Platt. Jonathan Strong doing a good job keeping his position in the game, taking that point right there, serving from the right side. It looks like Platt um, went for the drop there, but it didn't work out. Strong now leading, five points to four, and now six four. John will be serving from the right side. Again, another very close game between the two. On to court three, Thomas Osberg and James Casey. Their game just started up. Uh, Osberg is another captain for the team. He's also been helping out um, with everything this season. He is also the president of Post 53, our town's EMS services. So. Um, Definitely does a lot and uh, stays involved in the community. Especially on DAF, Osberg announced on one of the girls' uh, squash, ma squash, squash matches. Um, and he plays for Darien Boys Team. So, Going back to court one, we are back at Strong and Platt. Score is 1-1. One, one. Score now 9-6, strong leads, and he'll be serving from the left side. Good return from John. Shot is up and Strong takes the point. Score is now 10-6. If John wins the next point, he'll take the set. Doing a good job here of keeping him uh, in the corners as best he can. John takes the set. 2-1. John's doing a great job of keeping his opponent in the back of the court, maintaining control over the points, which is uh, something we like to see. Osberg wins his first game against James Casey. You are watching live squash here on the DAF Media Network, Darianne New Canaan. We've got a break in the action, all three courts. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more squash.
We are back here live on the DAF Media Network, Damian Andrew, and I'm going to toss it back over to Michael DiMaglio and Will Morgan calling the action here at the Oxridge Club between Darianne and New Canaan Varsity Boys Squash. And now I believe we are on court two with Kai Sparks. Looking at your screen, you have the roster for the entire night. So far, Dolcetti's won against Dave Hansen. And Louis Gorman took the match from Will Casey. So, on court still, you have Jonathan Strong um, versus Austin Platt. Right now, I think we're looking at uh, court two with Kai and. Uh, Nicholas Lambrinos. They're still warming up, getting ready for their match. Kai is another freshman that we have on the varsity team. Um, luckily, within the last few years, Darien's become, uh, squash has become a pretty popular sport in Darien, so we're, uh, we're getting a lot of new talent on the team, which is uh, something that's been really special to see. Taking a look at court one, we have Jonathan Strong and Austin Platt playing their fourth set now. Good volley there from John. Strong leading 2-1. Matches are played to five, so if John is able to take the next game, he will win the match. Taking a look now at court three, we are back at Thomas Osberg and James Casey playing their second match right now, or second game right now. Osberg won the first. Served now from Casey on the left side. Good point for Osberg. Taking a look at all three matches right now in your top right of your screen, you have court one, Jonathan Strong and Austin Platt. Bottom left was just Kai Sparks and Nicholas Lambrinos. And in court three, you have Thomas Osberg and James Casey. And now we are going back to court one with Strong and Platt. Some good rallies between the two uh, over the course of the night, for sure. That will be a point to Platt. As he prepares to serve from the right side. John doing a nice job to hold his hit um, and taking that cross court to the back corner. Another point to Strong. The score is now five to two. Platt takes the point there. Nice job. Good reach by Jonathan, but doesn't work out for him. Again, uh, looks like it's going to be another point to New Canaan. Score is now 4-5 as Platt serves from the left side. That was a good volley return from John Strong there. Takes the point quickly. 
Looking at court two, Kai Sparks versus Nick Lambrino. Still in their first game. Something we saw on uh, Sunday evening when Darien played New Canaan um, was a lot of speed from these two players. Nick and Kai um, definitely are quick on their feet, so expect to see some, uh, some good movement. Definitely going to be a fast-paced match for a lot of people, but I think Kai is going to really pull through for the team. New Canaan taking the serve from the right side. And it looks like they're going to be playing a let there. Which happens when the, uh, the player is not really able to get to the ball. Back to court one, strong and Platt. Platt loses his racket, but still manages to hit the ball. John doing a nice job of staying up front in the court. Good get from Strong. Big point there for Platt. Eight all. The score between Strong and Platt is now eight all. And Platt will be serving from the right side. A stroke for John there because he could not safely hit the ball without his racket also hitting the other player. John doing a nice job of taking that point right there. Score will now be 10-8. Um, so this is game match point between Strong and Platt. And Strong takes the game and the match. Looking at the top left, court three, still have Osberg playing Casey. Casey takes the serve from the right side. The total match score now, Darien leads three, ga three matches to New Canaan's zero. And if Darien can win one more match, then they will take the win tonight. As, as the top seven games are, uh, are, the results of the top seven games are considered in uh, deciding the win or loss and four games are needed for a win. So Darien finds himself in a very favorable position at the moment. Casey serving from the right service box. Back to court two, Kai Sparks and Nick Lambrino. Good volley there from Kai. And Kai takes the point. Kai serving from the right side. Good return by Lambrino. Looks like a little bit of a miss, miss shot from Kai, and uh, Lambrinos will take the point.
Ty doing a good job of quickly getting back in the game, takes that point. All three courts are currently on a break. Time in between the matches. And it seems like the uh, game between Osberg and Casey has ended with Thomas winning. Taking the lead, putting Darien at 4-0. And that means that Darien will have won the majority of their, of their counted matches tonight. And um, looks like they will be coming out with with an outcome that is definitely favorable to them. And I believe that clinches an undefeated season for Darien's varsity boys squash team. We will take a, a quick break. You're watching live Boys Varsity Squash here on the DAF uh, Media Network. Darianne, as you just heard from Will Morgan, clinches the match, picking up their fourth win. We'll be right back with live squash right after this. We are back here live on the DAF Media Network as you take a look at the uh, big board from our graphics coordinator, Braden Shank. And the strong plat match, 3-1, strong wins. Osberg beats Casey, 3-zip. Louis Gorman beats Will Casey, 3-zip. And... Dolcetti finishing it off strong. Yep. Also with the 3-0 against... Dave, Dave Hansen. Hansen. Yep. Alrighty. We're watching uh, on court two here. Cooper uh, Kai Sparks and Nicholas Lambrinos. And once again, joining us on the broadcast, Michael DeMeglio, former Darian lacrosse, or uh, Darian squash player, and Will Morgan. Kai taking the serve from the right box. And uh, although Darien's managed to come out with a win here, I'm sure all of our players were gonna, are going to keep trying, doing their best, um, and trying to get a win for the team. The, the last time Darien played New Canaan on Sunday, the end score was 6-1 to one Darien. Kai takes the point again. He'll be serving from the right now. Back to court one. Which uh, has Marcus Ashcraft, another freshman on the high school team, who will be playing Cooper Jessup. Marcus doing a good job of getting that ball to the back corner of the court. Really hard, to, really hard shot to hit from that from that angle. Marcus doing another, uh, doing a good job, taking the point again. Serving from the left side.
good rally here from Marcus and Cooper. Thomas Otsberg is going to join the broadcast here, just finishing up his match on court three. Taking a look at court two, back with Kai Sparks and Nicholas Lombrino. Nick takes a nice serve from the right service box. Oh, nice shot from Kai there. Played Nick uh, last week, or actually earlier this week, just on Sunday. Definitely a great player. Likes to hit it nice and hard, but Kai, uh, at least so far, has been uh, had the upper edge. Kai doing a good job taking the point there. He'll be serving from the left si uh, right side. Definitely been a good match so far. Um, New Canaan's always one of our, our tough opponents all year. Um, but we, at least for Darien, we, we got the job done on Sunday and we're off to a, a great lead here um, so far. Trying to preserve our undefeated season. Probably hear the cheering in the background. I'm gonna get back out there to cheer on these guys as we come to these last few matches. Kai doing a great job getting it back out of the corner there. Unfortunately, couldn't take the point. Taking a look at court three now, which is Jaden Majmudar and Dave Hansen. Their game just started up. And uh, Dave, Dave is also playing nine today as well, so he's got two matches in. So really special showing there for him to take one for the team and, and play two matches. Uh, he's definitely probably going to be a little tired after today, but um, it's really great that he's able to provide an opportunity uh, for everybody to uh, play here on this Darien team. One of the uh, challenging things has been the uh, the length of the season. We've only had we've only had a few weeks to play, um, so I know I know for me and some of the other guys, it's um, it's been great to get out and play whenever we can. Uh, of course, that means playing uh, playing two games in a match. Um, I know many of these guys are more than willing to do so. Absolutely. Taking a look at the screen, you have on your top right, Marcus Ashcraft and Cooper Jessup still playing their match. Ashcraft taking it from the left side. Nice work from Marcus there. Uh, with that, that'll finish up their match. Um, I'm going to be signing off here and getting back to cheering off the rest of the rest of the team. But I, I appreciate the the quick showing and uh, yeah, go of blue wave. <laughs> it's always great to have another captain out here um, representing. Maybe we'll be able to find uh, Dolcetti somewhere out there and bring him on for a little bit to talk. So Marcus Ashcraft now leading. One game to zero. And uh, Marcus is playing on the number two so spot on the ladder. Um, just under David Zhao, our, um, our top player on the team right now. Taking a look at the leaderboard, uh, you have Jonathan Strong and Austin Platt. Jonathan taking the lead 3-1. Kai Sparks in the middle of his match with the lead of 1-0. Osberg winning 3-0. Dolcetti 3-0 as well. And Louis 3-0 against Casey. And now we're looking at uh, the court number three with Jaden. Jaden is another freshman on the team who um, I know did a lot of work um, in the spring and summer uh, coming to Ox Ridge and doing, doing some of the clinics and programs. So it's been nice to see him improve a lot in the last few weeks. Um, 
definitely excited to see where that kid goes um, and what he can do for the team in the coming years. Jaden and then Jaden winning the first match. We'll see the first game. We'll see if he can win a second one as well against Hanson. Good drop from Jaden. He looks like he's uh, managing to move Hanson around a lot, which is uh, a good strategy of tiring him out so that the uh, the rallies can be easier to take the win. Jaden also making his opponent move around the court a lot while he sits at the tee. It's really, it, it's really like preserving his stamina and energy for the rest of the match in case it doesn't go in his favor. He can always keep up with his opponent and stay in the game. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the newest challenges of the season has been the masks. Um, squash is a very endurance intensive sport, and um, the addition of the mask this year has definitely been a challenge that a lot of us have been adjusting to over the last few weeks. Um, so it, it, it took some getting used to uh, to be able to play longer matches up to four and five games um, while wearing masks. Looking at all three courts on your top right screen, you have Marcus Ashcraft and Cooper Jessup on court one. Court two on the bottom left, you have Kai Sparks and Nicholas Lambrino. And on the top left, you have Jaden Majmudar and Dave Hansen. And it looks like Jaden won his game against Hansen. Again, like Thomas said earlier, Hansen is on his second match of the night, so he is a little tired and worn out which plays in Darian's favor. Ty and Nicholas seeming to have a good uh, rally down in that bottom left corner of your screen. Kai doing a great job to take the point. I'm sure you can hear uh, that cheering. There's definitely a large group that's congregated around court two, Kai's watching gonna, some of the action. Kai's gonna take the serve from the left, winning his games 2-0. If he wins this game, he takes the match for the team. Nicholas doing a great job of recovering there, um, managing to get the point. That's good effort from Nicholas. He will be serving from the right side. And the score on this game, for those just tuning in, is Kai 2, Nicholas 0. And if Kai manages to take this next game, he will take the match. Great serve from Nicholas as well as a good return from Kai. But Nicholas will take the serve from the left. And now we're going to be back on court one. Looking back at Marcus Ashcraft and Cooper Jessup, getting ready to play their second match. And it looks like we're going to, uh, we got a little uh, player issue, some blood on the court. Um, we'll get, we'll get uh, the new Canaan player patched up and right back out there. Taking a look back at court three, we have Jaden Majnadar and Dave Hansen. Jaden taking the point, serving from the right side. 
doing a great job to maintain his position in the match, winning. Hanson doing a great job of scooping that ball out of the back of the court. And Jaden with a great drop kill. He'll take the point there. Good shot by Jaden. Takes the point to the right side. Jaden winning the second game on his court, making the score 2 0 in Darianne's favor. Taking a look back at Kai Sparks' court, playing against Nicholas Lombrinos. And that point right there is going to be a stroke to Kai. Kai's doing a great job pulling through for the team. We'll see if he can win his match for the night. And it looks like Kai will take the game there. And I believe that will end the match. Looks like we have a little break in play right now. So hang tight and we'll get back to you with some more squash. Yeah, we'll take a quick break here. You've been listening to Will Morgan and Michael DiMeglio. We're watching Varsity Boys Squash here on the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation. So happy you're with us. We'll be right back. This broadcast is produced by DAF Media, a joint venture between the Darianne Foundation and the Darianne Athletic Foundation. The production is staffed by student and adult volunteers from the town of Darianne and southwestern Connecticut. Welcome back to Darien Squash Games at Oxridge Hunt Club. Majmudar takes the lead 3-0 for his match as well as Sparks 3-0 for his match against Lembrinos. Taking a look at Marcus Ashcraft back on the court. There's the roster up on your screens for you. So far, John Strong, Kai Sparks, Thomas Osberg, Michael Dolcetti, Jaden Majmadar, and Louis Gorman have been able to win their matches. So Darian's doing a great job right now. You can see the uh, total score below is six games to zero. Ashcraft getting back on court with Jessup. There was a little accident from last match. 
Yeah, it looks like there was a little bit of blood on the court from Jessup. Um, that's something that can happen in squash when a player uh, goes to the ground. Those hardwood courts can be very unforgiving. Taking a look back at Kai. Yeah, uh, looks like we're back with Kai Sparks and Nicholas Lambrinos. So it seems like that game uh, actually did not come to a conclusion. Um, they're going to keep on playing. All right, so we're getting news now that Kai's last game was actually flipped. So the score of for Kai's match is 2-1. Kai still maintains the lead against Spar uh, against Lambrinos. Yeah, that's a great job from Nicholas to manage to um, you know com tr make a comeback here and keep himself in the game. Kai again is doing a great job of keeping uh, his opponent in the back of the court. Some good volleys from Kai there. Unfortunately, Kai hits a 10, giving New Canaan the possession of the ball. Lembrinos is going to take the serve from the right hand side. And now I believe we are going to be switching back on to uh, court one where Marcus Ashcraft and Cooper Jessup uh, resume play. In their second game of their match, Marcus Ashcraft still has the lead, serving from the right-hand side of the court. Good cross court there for Marcus. He managed to uh, hold his shot and fool the opponent into thinking he was going to be do going down the right side of the court. Good drop there from Marcus, but Jessup takes the point. That's a good return from Marcus right there. Jessup takes possession of the ball, serving from the right side. With a good return by Ashcraft. Taking a look back at court two, we have Sparks and Lambrinos. And Kai there asking for a stroke, and it looks like he's going to get it. Lambrinos arguing his case with the refs. We'll see if it works out. Sparks taking the lead 2-1 in his match. We'll see if he could pull through and win it for the team. And it looks like Kai will be getting the point there, serving from the left side now. Again, for those just tuning in, a stroke occurs when the player cannot safely hit the ball, um, and the point will go to them. Kai doing a good job taking the point there. Taking the serve from the right side against Lambrinos. I believe I just heard them uh, them say the score was 8-4. And now it's going to be 10-4, serving from the right. And now it will be game match ball.
Kai Sparks pulls through, ending the match for him and Lombrinos, putting Darianne at a score of 7-0 for tonight. And now um, we're looking at all three courts at once right now. Um, Marcus uh, Ashcraft and Cooper Jessup are at the top right of your screen. That's a good job for Marcus there to take the point. New Canaan gaining possession of the ball, leaving it at one all handout for Ashcraft's game. And uh, now I think we're going to be joined by uh, Michael Dolcetti, another uh, captain for the boys team. Hey, Michael. Hey, this is a little loud. but Saw that you won your match 3-0 tonight. How do you feel that you played? I thought I played all right. You know, the... Uh, my shots were a little loose, but other than that, I kept them behind me, and it was simple. Go, Marcus. Come on, Cooper. Three, two, hand up. Taking a look back at Ashcraft's game. See what we got here. They're still playing the uh, cat and mouse to the back of the court. Good shot made by Ashcraft. Jessup leans for it and fortunately gets the point. Or Ashcraft gets the point. Looks like Marcus took the point there. He'll be uh, serving from the left side. Score is now 4-2. Marcus leads. I got the standard cat and mouse on the rail. Waiting for someone to mess up. Yep, that's a good job there from Marcus. Uh, willing to be patient and let the points kind of come to him. And now we'll be switching over to court two with Will Coons and Robert Hellman. Still warming up in the beginning of their match. They should be starting soon. <laughs> Taking it back to Ashcraft and Jessup. Jessup gets possession of the ball, taking the serve from the right side of the court. Good return by Ashcraft. Ashcraft is in a pretty good position here because he's got him pushed in the back. Take the easy point. Ball comes loose. Jessup does a good job to pick that up. Score is now four to seven. Different angle here, court one, Ashcraft first Jessup. Ball came loose again. Ashcraft is behind him. It's a good counter drop from Jessup. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Cooper's doing a great job getting himself back in this game here. He, uh, he had a little slip up, some blood on the court, but he's doing a great job picking himself back up. Yeah, he's making less mistakes now towards the center middle of this game, and he's been capitalizing on a lot of some of the Marcus's loose balls. Score 8-6, Ashcraft takes the serve from the right side. Unlucky there from dress up, if, uh, I believe he hit the 10. Score is now 9-6. That was a good shot there from, oh, looks like we're gonna be playing a let. Uh, score is still 9-6. Mark is trying to capitalize on that loose ball, but just barely missing. Seems there's a call to be made. Just up pleading his case, but it looks like Wait. might not work out the way he wanted it. Yeah, he was looking for a stroke there. They're still waiting, trying to find something they can use. And Jessup is the first to slip. Ashcraft takes a serve from the right side. Taking a look at Will Coons and Robert Hellman's court. Mm -hmm. Things to know about this match, Will Coons is a lefty, so he does have a, lefties have a pretty distinct play style. Um, they tend to be a bit more balanced than righties on forehand and backhand. So there. Both of them still warming up. as we hop over to court one here. It looks Just like um, Marcus will be taking the match or the game. Coons and Hellman flipping the racket. This decides who will be serving once the match starts. They'll be taking a quick break before the match starts up for them. They have 90 seconds to begin their match. Now we're looking at court one with uh, David Zhao and Charles Brossi. Great match between the two on uh, on Sunday evening. Let's see uh, let's see if they can perform as well as they did a few days ago. Yeah, I believe Zhao was the one who took the match on Sunday, but we'll see if Brassi can get his revenge there. David, only a sophomore at the high school, still a few more a four, a few more years left with the program, um, and already performing at a very high level. Incredibly talented player. Um, guy's incredible. He got those nasty fakes on the whole team. You never know where he's going with the ball. Very true. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to be saying goodbye to Michael. Michael, thank you for uh, coming in and talking with us. Now we're going to be talking with Austin Platt, playing Jonathan Strong. How do you feel you did in your game? Oh, that was a battle. Um, John's a great player, and uh, we played Sunday night, and it was another 3-1, just complete battle. And um, I was glad to win the first game. I was up, what, like 10-5 and nearly blew it. 
But um, yeah, just a battle to who, who makes less errors and uh, another great match, but I feel like I left everything out there. Yep, Austin, you're uh, you're another senior. Yep. Um, looking forward to playing playing in the years to come. Um, not necessarily. I mean, maybe club, but I uh, just feel like I've done my job at the high school level, and um, definitely proud of what what we've done and what the program, both these programs. Great to see two public schools do so well, and I feel like the future at NC is pretty bright. Yeah, definitely. Squash has a very good future um, um, in the area. Lots of young kids joining club uh, or or clinics, um, so it's nice to see the uh, the growth of the sport. Taking a look at Will Kuhn's match here against Robert Hellman. Darien up in the total night of 7 0. Will will be serving from the left side. His first match of the night. Coons' game, 8-1, serves from the left side. Here we're going to be looking at a split screen of both games, the last matches of the night, going here at Ox Ridge Hunt Club. On the right side, we have Will Coons versus Robert Hellman. And on the left side, we have David Zhao and Charles Barassi. Austin, I assume, I assume you've been playing with Brossi for a little while. How is he as a player? Yeah, Charles is a really great player. Um, was, I knew him in the middle school level, and then uh, he came uh, freshman year at the middle of the year. Um, and he, he's a, just a really solid player. Uh, really got a good mix of shots, and he's got a good, really good feel for the game. He was a really a nationally ranked paddle player in middle school, oh, wow. and then took that to squash in sixth grade or so, and has really grown so well. But uh, David, on the other hand, is uh, in a world of his own, really, to be honest. Looks like the, uh, the game between David and Charles will be starting up in uh, about a minute or so. Both games here on a break. We're going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back to you as soon as the games come back to a start. We are DAF Media, Darianne's hometown source for sports, arts, and entertainment, established in 2017. We are Community a volunteer-based organization that gives nearly 50 Darien High School students hands-on experience in video production. We are Cutting Edge, a STEM initiative. Students use cameras, computers, sound equipment, and innovative software. We are Live, streaming 120 events per year on our YouTube channel. We are On The Stage. We are at the big games. We are on the field. We are in the gym. We are on the move. Live streaming not only in Darien, but throughout southwestern Connecticut and the tri-state area. We are making a difference. We are. DAF Media. Taking a look at the roster for tonight, we have Darianne coming in strong with the leads. Jonathan Strong, 3-1.
Kai Sparks as well, Thomas Osberg, Michael Dolcetti, Marcus Ashcraft, Jaden Majmudar, and Louis Gorman all coming in with a score of 3-0 for their matches. Coming back to the number one seed for tonight, we have David Zhao and Charles Grossi. Good boast there from David. And on the right side of the screen, we have Will Coons and Robert Hellman back at their games for tonight. here Thomas Osberg uh, brings a lot of energy to the court whenever whenever he's around good drop shot in that last point for David Zhao takes the point and serves from the right side now we're back on court one Frosty will be serving from the right side David doing a good job of staying in the middle of the court there, able to get a good volley, and he'll take the point. So hard playing against David. He's got to keep the ball so tight, and you can't give him anything in the middle. He's going to just put it away. Unlucky there for Charles. Good recovery there from Charles, but uh, David is just too good. <laughs> On the right side of the screen, Coons winning his point, serving from the left side against Hellman. Zhao takes a serve from the left side. Good return from Brossi. Good bow shot there. And he takes the point. That's a great serve there from Charles. Don't do you do not see David miss uh, miss a shot like that very often. David hits a 10, giving the point to Brossi, serving from the right side. Charles, uh, or um, David, I should say, maintaining uh, a strong position on the front of the court, taking control of the tee right there. Taking a look at Coons' match on court two. Coons will take a s the serve from the right side. Good return from Hellman. And the game between David and Charles has just ended. David taking taking the lead. One game to zero. Again, um, three games are needed. Players will play um, best of five, and three games are needed to win the match. 
Now we're looking at uh, Coons and Hellman. That's a good volley there from Will. Telling you, Will uh, played him a couple times and uh, got the better of him a couple years ago at the Fair West tournament, uh, which is basically like FCX for squash, and he's gotten so much better. A uh, tennis player and being a lefty, it's it's tough um, playing against a lefty. Everything you think is just flip-flopped, but you really got to think about it much more. As a tennis player, that having good hands is just so easy, and every time you try and go cross-court to his backhand, he'll volley it short, and it seems like that's what he's doing against Hellman, but uh, Will's gotten a lot better. I've gotten to know his family over the years, and I uh, played his dad in paddle a couple weeks ago, and it's definitely a great racket sport family right there. Tell us a little bit about Hellman playing Coons. You're on a team with him this season. Is there anything about him that makes him a really strong player and good at the game? I mean, the height, I think, proves it all. He gets to every ball possible, and uh, it's so hard to, to put him away. And uh, he's solid in the back as well, and he hits good shots and um, really places the ball sometimes just inches above the tin where it's impossible to get. But um, playing a lefty, just have to think about it that much more and have to execute your shots, especially against such an improved player like Will. And, uh, yeah. Robbie's game, I think, will uh, he'll be tested tonight, and um, it'll be a good match between the two. Taking a look back at court one, David Zhao and Charles Brossi, Brossi getting ready for their second game of the night. Brossi taking the first game. Best of three wins the match. Score is now one all as Charles serves from the right side. Taking a look at the roster for tonight, David Zhao, Charles Rossi in the middle of their match, 1-0. Another good shot from David. Charles is almost able to get to it, just doesn't happen. There's a return I've seen dozens of times in practice, the one that just puts you away. That's a great volley right above the tin there. But um, it seems like David can do it as well. These players definitely testing each other in the beginning parts of the game. David hitting the tin giving the possession of Brossi. Both players very cool, calm, and collected uh, during this rally, willing to be patient and uh, wait for the opportunities to come to them. Zhao and Barassi talking to the refs right now about the previous play. It looks like they just uh, played a let there. And now another. Uh, David asking for a letter or stroke there. Seems like it's not going to happen for him. Brossi taking the serve from the left side of the court. Good get there for Brossi. Another good volley there from David. Another great return from David, able to scoop it up out the back of the corner. It's a good cross court there from David. Taking a look back at both 
matches. On the left we have David Zhao and Charles Brossi at the number one seed on court one. On the right side of your screen you have Robert Hellman versus Will Coons at the number four seed for tonight. These are the last two matches of the night. Darianne in the lead, 7-0. Taking a look back at David Zhao's game on court one. David with a nice shot right above the tin there. Just out of reach from Charles. Good drop there from David. Just hits the corner and uh, when that happens the ball can sometimes have a weird bounce. Looks like it died there and Charles just, just couldn't get to it. Taking a look at Kuhn's match. That's a great shot there from Will. Taking the serve from the right side of the buck court. Another good return there from Hellman. Another good shot there from Robert, able to just get into that back corner away from Will. Good reach from Coons though, unable to make the point. Coons getting ready to serve from the right side of, oh, Hellman getting ready to serve from the left side of the court. Lots of good cross court there from Will. Will asking for a call there for the refs. Let's see if he gets it. They do not give him the call. Serve from Hellman on the left side of the court. Will doing a great job putting in that corner up, up front, keeping it away from Robert. That's a good return there. Good rally between the two of them. Oh, it's a great shot from Robert right there. Game for Will versus Robert ends. Getting ready for the next game. Looks like Rob won that one 11 9, so I believe that match is tied up at 1. Both games are on a break right now. We're going to take a break as well, and we will return when the games are back. This broadcast is produced by DAF Media, a joint venture between the Darianne Foundation and the Darianne Athletic Foundation. The production is staffed by student and adult volunteers from the town of Darianne and southwestern Connecticut.
Back at Oxridge Hunt Club, taking a look at David Zhao's game versus Charles Brossi. Already started their game. Zhao's going to take a backhand serve from the right side of the court. David Zhao winning his match 2 0 against Brossi. Good return there from Charles, able to get Jaden off uh, or uh, get uh, David off his balance there. Really good shot from David Zhao against a back wall, leaving it hard for Brossi to get a return off of him. And on the right side of the screen, we have Will Coons and Robert Hellman back at their match. Coons serving from the right side. Back on court one with David Zhao and Charles Brossi. Dave's doing a great job, really uh, annihilating tonight on those drop shots, able to keep the ball right above the 10. We have a good shot of the audience here tonight at the Oxridge Hunt Club on courts one and two. Court closest to the camera is camera one panning in on ISO to David Zhao and Charles Brossi. Zhao's going to take the serve from the left. Good drop there for Brossi. David returns with the drop as well. Unlucky there. And it looks like that will call it between David Zhao and Charles Brossi. David Zhao taking the match 3-0 from New Canaan. Darianne is now at a lead of 8-0 for the night, leaving the last match to Will Coons versus Robert Hellman. On the right side of the screen. Austin, now that um, all, you, uh, all you seniors have kind of finished up your games for the season, uh, any closing words you'd like to say to... Uh, to anybody about your teammates? I mean, it's been a great year. Of course, this is not the uh, way in the season, of course, that we wanted it to end with it being shortened and playing so many less teams. But uh, it's been a great four years, and um, I'm proud of the way we grew. Um, we had a couple great years in the beginning, and um, as I mentioned, we're a rebuilding team, and the middle school program looks strong. And we had a couple of freshmen who uh, opted out this year because of COVID. Uh, we could have used them. I will not uh, lie about that. But um, I think um, we're proud of the team we've put together. And uh, we put put up some battles these last couple of years, even though we've been underdogs. And um, it's been a great four years. I couldn't have imagined anything better. And uh, of course, same for you guys. It's been great playing you guys for the last four years. Great little rivalry that we've put together. Of course. And um, of course, uh, we'll definitely be we'll be in touch and looking forward to uh, next couple of years when we come home and hopefully see uh, our teammates battle it out. Yep. Uh, definitely, yeah. I'll be looking forward to seeing uh, where where this little rivalry goes in the years to come. Again, um, Darien Boys Varsity team um, is one game left, but uh, they've managed to qu clinch the win uh, for the match tonight, and um, that will mark an undefeated season for the Darien Boys Varsity squash team. So really glad uh, we were able to come out with a... Uh, um, a lot of wins this season, and uh, able to perform really well under um, under all the circumstances. Good drop shots there, but uh, Will takes the point. And the score between uh, Robert and Will 
is two games to Robert, one to Will Coons, meaning if Hellman is able to take this next game, he will win the match. Although New Canaan necessarily may not have come out on top tonight, you guys had some really good uh, matches against Darianne. Just um, a few short points of some of your games. How do you feel that y your teammates could have improved tonight in order to take the lead? I mean, uh, I will say we were out with our number five tonight, who was here on Sunday, uh, Jack Sheffield, the freshman, who's uh, really come on and surprised a lot of us. Um, so we were missing down one tonight, but um, we put up a good fight. Um, you know, on the score sheet, it's not going to look very good, but uh, the games were close, and uh, that was the same about Sunday night. So just improving on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, this year it's not going to – uh, really go too far with the shortened season. Obviously, these are our last matches. We might have one more, but I know for you guys, it's your last one, so a good way for you guys to finish you off. Um, but I think we're as long as we're improving on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll have a couple more practices and uh, just proud of the team going forward. Taking a look back here at Coons and Hellman's match. Hellman puts up a lead of 2-1. Serve from the left hand side. And it looks like Will Coons is leading ten to eight right now. Game ball. If Will manages to take the, the game here, he will be able to take it to a fifth game and it looks like that is what will happen we are going to take a break right now we will come back to you when the game returns we are DAF Media Darianne's hometown source for sports arts and entertainment established in 2017 we are community a volunteer-based organization that gives nearly 50 Darien High School students hands-on experience in video production. We are Cutting Edge, a STEM initiative. Students use cameras, computers, sound equipment, and innovative software. We are Live, streaming 120 events per year on our YouTube channel. We are On The Stage. We are at the big games. We are on the field. We are in the gym. We are on the move. Live streaming not only in Darien, but throughout Southwestern Connecticut and the tri-state area. We are making a difference. We are. DAF Media. Looking back at the leaderboard and roster for tonight, the last match you have here is Will Coons and Robert Hellman tied 2-2 in the last game of the night and the last match of the night. Hellman getting the point, serving from the left. That's a good shot there from Hellman. Deep in the back of the court, manages to get it right above the tin. Not much you can do about it there. That's a good return from Will. Get himself back in the game.
This is one of the closest match tonight. Hellman putting up a good fight against Coons. It's just a matter of time to see who will come out on top for this match. There we go. Will uh, managed to take the point there. Yeah, I agree with you, Michael. This is a, I'd say this is a great representation of, um, of you know, the rivalry between our two towns. It's definitely coming down to the wire. Um, a lot of good shots and a lot of good plays from uh, from both both players out there on the court. Yeah. Unlucky bounce there for Will, and, and Robert takes the point. Yeah, Robert's been a part of a lot of five-setters the last couple of years. He was uh, pretty sure he was the only one to get us a win on Sunday night, and of course it was a five-setter last match. It feels like it always goes to five, and uh, same case here. And hitting the 10. Coons taking the serve from the right side. We'll see uh, we'll see what call is made by the refs there. I think it was a let there. Yep, looks like we're going to go with the let there. Re uh, replay the point. And a dramatic ending um, to this this uh, match between two very storied organizations uh, in in squash at the public uh, high school level. Darien actually being the first um, public high school team in the country, believe it or not. Will winning the point, fighting a good fight against Hellman tonight in the last match of the night. It's a good cross court there from Will. Hellman's gonna have to look to uh, to get himself back in this game here. It's a good return there from Robert. And Will with a nice drop. Score right now now is seven four I believe Coons is leading. And Robert uh, will take a stroke there. Score five seven now. It's unfortunate there for Robert. Will takes the point. Yeah, Will's doing a really good job making sure every, you keep everything straight. Against the lefty, lefty-righty, you always feel like you want to just keep hitting cross courts and hit to a backhand, but going straight is the uh, best thing to do and then set up that winner on the cross court, which is what Will's been doing and Rob's got to do a little more of. Robert getting another stroke there, um, takes another point. Doing a good job of keeping himself in the game. But um, looks like he hit the 10 right there and Will's going to take another point. Another missed shot. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is game match point for our Whale Coons. And uh, that will do it right there. Will with hitting a nice uh, cross court. Now we're getting a nice view of um, you know both both teams congregated around court number two. Definitely a very impressive job from both these players, I'd say. The second straight five-setter that Will played in, he beat our guy Jack Sheffield 3-2 after going down 2-0. So uh, kudos to Will for sticking in there and playing two straight five-setters. That is not easy in the span of 48 hours. Hellman put up a good fight tonight. Coons came out on top, though. Darien coming to a total points of 9-0 for the night here at Oxridge Hunt Club. A good season for Darien overall. There's just so much more to come in the coming seasons. Yes, definitely. Now we're going to pass it over to Damian Andrews. want to thank Austin Platt, Thomas Otsberg, Will Morgan, and of course Michael DeMeglio uh, for hopping on this broadcast, doing a terrific job commentating. 
this varsity boys squash match between Darian and New Canaan. And uh, Austin, we'll be seeing you around. That's right. With some uh, sports coming up here. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's always uh, always entertaining, no matter what. Could be checkers, right? No matter when Darian and New Canaan get together. But I want to thank uh, you for hopping on. It's always a pleasure to have you as you take a look at the final results here. And Darianne, that coons hellman match, as Michael alluded to, was very competitive. Coons pulling it out, coming from behind to win 3-2. And Darianne wins the match 9-zip to uh, remain undefeated on this abbreviated season. So for our entire DAF media production crew, our director Trey Cahill, our graphics coordinator, Braden Shank, and Michael DeMeglio. I am Damian Andrew. This has been a production of the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation. Once again, the Blue Wave beat the Rams 9-zip in varsity boys squash. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Take care.